right, so this is the cottonwood. This is not in the same neighborhood as where you would uh, be buying. This is in Freestone out in Lacey, but um, it's the only one that's done that I could show you. So I thought I would start here. Um, two car garage is standard. This front porch is standard. Landscaping in the front is all standard with sod grass. Here's your porch. Now these aren't done, the two houses that I'm gonna take you through, um, but I wanted you to uh, get a feel for space and whatnot. So this is a engineered hardwood floor that you're looking at down here with white millwork, okay? And then they do a craftsman style trim along the top of each door, just so you can see how that looks. And so on the cottonwood, you open up, you come into a hallway, oops, let's just try it again. Uh, hallway, stairs off to the right, uh, closet right here. And open here, here you have this big open space. Um, what a lot of people are doing is in this front area with the window, they do like a sitting area. And then over here is your formal dining area. Um, and then also people are doing upgrades where they make the dining room hardwood, kind of differentiate the two rooms if you want to do so. Um, this go leads into the butler pantry over here. And this is all a standard house, by the way. There's no upgrades in this house that I'm showing you. And so you'll see granite countertop in the butler pantry. This is the buffet porch portion. And then if we turn, and you'll see that's full backsplash all the way up um, to the upper cabinet. And then we come over here and we have a pantry that's rather large and spacious. Allows you to store all sorts of goods, apparently including caulk and uh, cable wire. <laughs> and then you come into the kitchen. This is where your fridge would go. Microwave over there. I'm gonna try to back up and give you a grandiose view. So it's a big kitchen. Um, that's a stainless steel appliances is what's standard military. That he gives you a fridge uh, for free, stainless steel, stainless steel microwave. And then you have a bar here, a bar height uh, bar. Um, so you get bar stools. And so I'm just gonna kind of circle here and give you a feel for space in this big kitchen um, with the sink over here double sink, under mount sink from the granite, and which leads to your backyard, which is fenced and landscaped, all standard, which is unusual. And then from your kitchen, you look out to your giant living room. This is a very big space. I would say it's probably 20 by 15, maybe even larger than that. Um, very big fireplace is standard uh, that you're looking at. Um, the hardwood um, goes from the, down the hall, into a little eating area, gives you room to put a dining room eating area in here for informal eating, and then goes into the living room out this way. This is the front door to your patio, which leads out to your backyard. Sorry I'm going through this fast, but I still think it will help you out. Just FYI, this is cement hardy plank siding on the outside, lap siding all the way around, which is another thing that differentiates um, this builder from other builders. Um, it's the best siding for Washington. It's basically bulletproof and uh, not very high maintenance. Okay, maintenance is an issue in Washington with the rain and the and whatnot. Okay, standard carpet that you're looking at. This is the entry from the garage. Uh, people love this feature. Uh, this is what they call a mudroom. So in here, you have shelving and a bench, and then below the bench, excuse me, those are my keys. Um, you know, storage for shoes and whatnot. And then a little closet here for, uh, for hanging your coats and whatnot. And then off the mudroom, you have an office. So um, if you want an office, if not, it could be another bedroom if you put a wardrobe, but this does not have a closet. It's probably 13 by nine or 10 in space. Okay, and now yeah, we'll look at the doors up not. Okay. All right, so now we're walking through here quickly. Sorry, hope you don't get seasick. <laughs> Rounded corners, by the way. Don't know if I showed those off. Downstairs. Again, here's the millwork. Wanted to show you that again. This is your hall bath uh, down here. So it's a powder room. You have a sink and a toilet, basically just a half bath for your company. And then down here next to that is a little storage here. And that is entrance into your crawl space as well. Um, ample crawl space so you can do plumbing and wiring and whatnot underneath there. And then we'll go upstairs. And 
and you come into a big bonus room. So yet another living space. So you've got that front sitting area, that huge uh, living room off the kitchen, and then you have this room, which is probably about 23 by 23, total estimate on my part. I am a contractor, don't try that at home. Um, anyway, two windows, very light, very big, very spacious. There's a lot you can do here. Then off to the right, that's the master, double door master, but we'll save that. We'll continue on for now. To the bathroom, this is a kid's bathroom or guest bathroom, whoever's inhabiting those other bedrooms. You'll see it's a dual sink. I'll try not to put myself in the mirror because I was moving today and I'm dressed like a total scrub. But you'll see granite slab again with undermount sinks in the bathroom, which again is very unusual for builders to do. And here's full bath, and shower, and toilet in a separate room. So people could be going to the bathroom while other people are doing their hair and doing whatnot. Oops, she did catch me in the mirror. Sorry about that. No one needs to see that. <laughs> and then we have a laundry room, very spacious upstairs laundry room. People like this because it keeps the mess in one place all upstairs and all next to the bedroom. So you're not hauling laundry all over the place. Um, you definitely have room for cabinets in the future or workbench back here. Um, yeah, utility room. Got it. And then it has three bedrooms uh, other than the master. This is the largest. Um, not a lot to show here. Uh, then a big old window that looks to the front. Um, again, this is not the same neighborhood, but it's close to what it would be like. Every bedroom in this plan has a walk-in closet. That cannot be said for the Orcus, but it is for the Cottonwood. There's another bedroom. Bedroom sizes, I'm sure you're curious and it's hard for me to capture that. Um, this one looks like it's about 10 by 13. The first one looked a little larger. These are just guesses by my part. Just, I don't know, take it for what it's worth. This one looks larger. I'd say it's probably 12 by 13. And then this other one over here down the hall. This is just a game closet here. They didn't put the doorknobs on it, but it's a bunch of shelves that go in. Um, so I don't think I can open it because I forgot to put the doorknobs in. Yeah, so, and then this room is pretty small. I would say it's probably nine by nine. So not very big, but it does have two windows and it does have a walk-in closet. So somebody's gonna get gypped and I'll let you work that out. <laughs> and then lastly, we'll do one more glimpse of that massive bonus room upstairs. Um, we have the master. Master is very good size. I would say it's about 20 by 20. It comes, it comes standard with a gas fireplace, okay, which is kind of cool and romantic. A very large uh, walk-in closet. Again, this is standard. You can always California king this out. California king, <laughs> California closet this out. And uh, your wife will be very happy, I am, I'm sure. Um, there you go. Two smaller windows up here, one big window there, and then you come into the master. And the master you have your soaking tub, your two sinks, multi-leveled, kind of a cool look. You see there, again, under Mount Granite, it's a little, I don't know, makeup area. Put a chair there, and then a separate uh, shower, which is a good size shower. And toilet over here on the other side of the door. So again, you could be working on making yourself beautiful while well, someone's going to the bathroom. I know. I don't know when I stop about potty stuff, but hey, it's practical stuff you got to know about. So um, that pretty much is the home. I'm going to just quickly go through it one more time. Hope to give you everything you need. Again, this is standard. No frills, no, no nothing on this one. Um, hope you like what you see. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. 360-280-7551. Again, that's 360-280-7551. I can't wait to talk to you about this home or the Orcus, which will also be forthcoming. Enjoy, guys. Bye.